Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer sent from Amanda Hunt, who I speak to regularly on, on Facebook. She's a lovely lady. Uh, this She sent me this, it's Death or Glory by Train Brewery. Uh, let me hide my face so we can get this in, shall we? Come on. There we go. Right, Train Brewing Company, Death or Glory. It's the motto of the Queen's Royal Lancers. And there's the emblem. Look at that. I'm sure some of you out there will like that label. It's strong ale, 7.2% ADV. Um, it's left in the fermentation tanks to really get it brewing, get that, that good. <sighs> Alcohol levels up to 7.2. Normal black top. Let's get it open. Let's get into a glass. And let's see what we think. Now, before I do that, I want to mention one thing. Um, this I, I had a beer sent from a man to hunt. Uh, this the death of glory. Um, which... I mentioned it to Tring Brewery on um, Twitter. <clears throat> they were quite impressed and they wanted to send me down a glass to review it in. So here's the glass. And they actually sent me down another bottle of it. So I cheekily drank the the other bottle sent from Amanda Hunt. So this is from Amanda Hunt and Tring Brewery. <laughs> so let's get it into a glass. Let's see what we think. I do apologise about the lighting levels. It is, it's very, very dark this time of year. I, I do, I do like to get the kids to bed before I really start drinking because it's not really fair on them. But what it does give is lovely light levels. If I can just get it right, there you go. Look at that carbonation. Isn't that lovely with the light? Beautiful. Okay, so it's a very, very dark, malty looking drink. Looks like it's Maris Otter in there to get it that colour. I'm going to get the nose. Let's give it a good wash round. Get the nose in there. Wow, wow. You do get that potent, lovely, like, it's a, almost like a liqueur type smell. There's hints of toffee. And even smelling it, you know it's a big beer. You know it's a big beer, but... Oh, it smells absolutely wonderful. Hints of coffee. Small hints of coffee, it's more caramel. I'm gonna dig in. Cheers, everyone. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. The beer coats your palate completely. It leaves like this nice layer of, of beautiful, beautiful beer on your, on your mouth. There's coffee, there's caramel, there's raisin, there's, there's all sorts of dark fruits and berries in there. Mmm. And even it's it's coat it's even coating my lips. I'm just I'm just I like to wash the beer on right the way around my mouth and get it on the lips and it, and it it's it's left the coating on the lips. It's oh it's absolutely wonderful. And for seven point two percent either, it's not boozy. It's it's not boozy. I'm quite excited because I'm glad to be back in the kitchen. Do you know it's been over a month? It's been over a month since I've done a kitchen review. I've done a couple of unboxing videos. I've done a couple of beer reviews with Chris, which is fantastic. But 
I've not done a beer review like this for over a month. Um, it's well, did the have a vision just not? But this, look at the bubbles. Smaller the bubble, better the beer. As I was told by a head brewer when I did a brewery tour. There you go. Smaller the bubble, better the beer. Look at the colour. Isn't that wonderful? <coughs> I gotta get the nose again. Let's get this wash round. Gotta get the nose on this beautiful beer. Wow. It's, it's, a, it's like a sticky toffee. It's, it's not, it, I gotta stress this. It's not that, um, what do they call it? There's a, there's a, uh, an ingredient they use. It's, it's an additive, which some of the companies put in their beers, and it's got that, uh, like the brownie sugar. It's, it's very synthetic. This is not that. I need to stress that this is not that flavour. Mm. I'm loving I'm loving the raisin. Absolutely loving the raisin in this beer. It's, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna read quickly the bottle. Uh, <clears throat> all that's in this beer by the way is water, malted barley, wheat and hops. Four ingredients to produce a stonking beer. Death of Glory takes its name from the regimental motto of the Queen's Royal Lancers. It has traditionally been brewed every year on October the 25th to commemorate the anniversary of the change charge of the Light Brigade when in 1854 the 17th Lancers made their fateful charge into the Valley of Death. Until recently, it has only been available on draft to local pubs and friends over Christmas and New Year. And I a lucky boy to get this in the ball. By special appointment to the Queen's Royal Lancers, we are now delighted to offer Death or Glory in bottles. This is a very special beer. If you can get this, please go out and get it. The Queen's Royal Lancers was formed in 1993 by the amalgamation of the 16th, 5th and 17th, 21st Lancers. The regiment's colonel in chief is Her Majesty the Queen. So, oh, it's been brewed by appointment to the Queen's Royal Lancers. What a special beer we have here. I just want to get that in just to show you guys. There you go. I don't normally say this. I don't normally say this, but I, I want to say it because I'm so excited about it. Beer Goggles reviews, Urban Viking Ale reviews. I really want to see you get this beer. This beer is wonderful. I would love to see you review this. I think you'll totally agree with me on the just just the pure quality of the beer. I'm very, very excited by this. 7.2% ABV. I'm absolutely sure Terry, Beer Goggles Reviews, David, David Urban Viking Ale Reviews, I'm absolutely sure you will love this beer. Please give it a go. Thank you, Amanda Hunt. You certainly know your beer. Thank you, Tring Brewery, for sending me such a wonderful glass. And a sneaky peek at the Death and Glory before I reviewed it. Time for a rating. It's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I cannot stress it enough. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from the Real Guide. 
superb, stupendous, bellissimo, um, lovely, whatever you want to say about this beer, it's fantastic. Thanks for watching. If you want to get in contact, it's Real Ale Guide at googlemail.com. Send your emails. I love your emails. Facebook is www.facebook.com forward slash Real Ale Craft Beer. And Twitter is twitter.com forward slash Real Ale Today. Thank you again for watching. I love your comments. Always comment on YouTube. I'll always answer. Subscribe if you like. Just what? <coughs> pardon me. Just want to give out Train Brewery's website because you really need to check these guys out. It is www.trainbrewery.co.uk. Again, thank you for watching and cheers.